we are right at King's Cross. And who knew King's Cross was so blooming nice? It is. I didn't know. No, you thought it was full of prostitutes. <laughs> I didn't know that. As we were traveling up here, it's like, I don't want to stay in King's Cross. And then we get here and it's like, oh, it's actually really nice. <laughs> um, there's lots of gentrification going on, basically. And apparently pre-gentrification, it was a red light district. I <laughs> My knowledge of King's Cross is limited, so don't right. take my word for it. But now it's really lovely. There's... I mean, there's development still going on, and when that's finished in the next few months, it will be even nicer. But there's all this, there's all these nice cafes and shops, and they're all done in these old, like, industrial buildings. And there's all this lovely, really nice, like, planting done, and there's yeah. fountains, and and they've recaptured the industrial buildings. We went to have a look at the old gas holders that have now been turned into apartments, and there's a couple of like high-end shops at the bottom of like there's a whole ice cream shop I don't know if you saw it mm. and there's um, one of the gas holders has been turned into a park we like Kings Cross and today we are leaving and we are hoping to have some extra crew who is due to arrive in about half an hour yeah and I'm wondering whether or not you're gonna walk with George or we're gonna leave him on board I think we're gonna leave him on board <clears throat> okay so we're gonna have to carry him across the the uh, boat again to get him a little walkies first. Yeah, we're double moored here, so it's not yeah, The double mooring's been fine, but we don't, we're, we're sort of, we're longer than the boat we're beside, so neither our front or the rear is and actually it, close enough to walk across. And their boat really tapers in at the front, so. Yeah. So at the front, George can't leap off. At the back, he can make it across going to shore, but he can't do it coming so back without carried. me carrying him over, so it's just a little bit, and he does not really like being picked up. But we think um, we're going to go down to um, Limehouse and do a big loop round and then go up the Lee. Although we're not 100% sure. But, uh, uh, yeah, and there's, it'll be one big loop and then a tiny middle loop and then, yeah. But, um, but we're going to check with our crew, who is local, who you might recognise, and um, see what she says. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Uh, Lorna came to visit, so we got to ride around with London Boat Girl on the boat uh, in London. So that was all very apropos. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and it was really nice having her aboard. Yeah. Lots yeah. of lovely conversations. Yep, definitely different conversations than we normally have. Um, yeah, I mean, the actual cruise was... Lots of built-up urban industry. Yeah. 
traffic, people, bicycles. Lots of noise. And, and like there was a couple of sort of picturesque little areas, but more of today was just sort of just kind of industrial. There was a few like urban parks and the, yeah, the picturesque bits were tending to be industrial picturesque. Yeah. There was a funny moment when I said, Michael, can you con- record Canary Wharf? And you were like, what's Canary Wharf? Well, for one thing, I didn't hear Canary Wharf. I heard like Canary Borf. <laughs> And I'm just like I don't I don't know how to identify Canary Wharf. So yeah, we if, can see it from here. Right. See, if there'd been like a really big canary, I'd have I'd have known. Yeah. Quite a few locks today. Yeah, there was about seven, eight locks. It was a fairly uneventful day. The traffic was light. There was only we you saw know, really one lock where we had somebody join us, and one lock where we saw somebody else. We saw a boat from. Aldermaston. It was an like ABC hire boat from Aldermaston, which is on the K K and A. So they're a long way from home. Yeah, they're a long way. <laughs> and I, I guess it could have been an X hire boat, but I'm pretty sure it still was a hire. Well, boat. it was definitely done up in the ABC colours, mm-hmm. so it was definitely like still named and coloured as as an ABC rental boat. But you'd think they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't keep the the livery if they left mm-hmm. the company and turned it into a sailor. So then we um, headed down to Limehouse through the Limehouse Basin, which was kind of exciting and... Lots of big boats. Lots of big like boats. Much bigger than <laughs> we're used to. And it made us think about, or it made me worry about our adventure, our future Thames adventure, because next time that we're there, we're going to be heading out onto the tidal Thames. Or at least I am. <laughs> and Lorna, because she's volunteered to come. Oh yeah, yeah, and Lorna, because she's, she's, she's coming along. There's still some debate. She's a risk taker. Still some debate. She also had some interesting stories of people who've done it. <laughs> she's Everybody's like, got a horror story. No. She's like, I better not tell you the story. And I'm like, well, you have to tell me now. And then, yeah, came up the line, Limehouse Cut, and we're now at Three Mills, where there's two mills. Yeah, <laughs> two mills visible in Three Mills Studio. But I think we're um, definitely going to push on tomorrow. And I think, oh yeah. I think we're going to push on quite hard like to get this book done, aren't we? Up the lead. Yeah. yeah. Or the um, sto- although the upper lead is currently um, essential travel only, so... Yeah, but I think that's what they're calling the section past the junction with the store, which is still like six book lengths above Yeah, us. but we might have to take a decision when we get there as to whether our travel is essential. Well, it's essential. <laughs> yeah. It's for the video. It's essential. It's for you guys. It's essential for us. So it's we can absolutely t- essential. So we can take it off, but yeah. I'm not sure the CRT would agree with us. Well, they're going to. <laughs> Anyway. It's essential. Because I'm not coming back. Well, I might come back, but I'm not like going out of my way to come back to, to you know, yeah, so. so no, and it's things essential. might. Totally thing, essential. Things might have changed by then anyway. Like, because it might take us a week or so. Well, and they might find out I'm coming. <laughs> so basically, we kept going down the Regent's Canal. The Regent's Canal goes all the way down to Limehouse. Then we turn up, and I don't believe this is the Regent's Canal. It's called the Limehouse Cut. This is the Limehouse Cut, which is not, I believe, part of the. I think we're on the River Lee Navigation mm-hmm. now. So we're on the River Lee Navigation heading up. So we've come off of one canal. We could have gone on to a third canal whose name I can't remember, which is the very small cut that goes from the... Um, is that the bow from the bow lock down to the Thames? No, no, no. Well, there, there is Bow River down here. But no, we, we could have gone... We didn't oh, go we across, across, the, across the top. We, we could have cut across the top above Limehouse. Yeah, so this is, this is basically a square. And we've done three. We have done currently two sides of the square. We're yeah. going, tomorrow we're going to do the third side, and then we're going to go up and do the lee and the stort, and then when we come back, we'll do the fourth side of the square. Yes, which will put us on yet another actual waterway, like a different yeah. waterway. It's called something else, even though it's only a mile and a half yeah. long or something. Yeah, and all of them were ultimately owned by the Grand Union Canal Company. All of this was was a heavily industrial area. This was the Docklands. And tomorrow we're going to go through the redeveloped Olympic. Park. The Olympic Village and the legacy venues, the uh, the legacy venues from the 2012 Olympics. Yeah, gentrification in action, um, <laughs> but apparently well planned gentrification as opposed to the kind I'm used to. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, click the thumbs up, comment below, um, and subscribe. Okay, now we get on the cheery subjects and stop talking about economics.
impending collapse of basically the entire world. Hey, welcome to Minimalist. And welcome to Minimalist. Um, yeah. He's waiting. This thing's covered. Oh, it's recording now. Yay, it's not waiting anymore. But I was mind blown to find out that Little is actually called Little. Yeah, thanks, Lorna. Yeah. Transfer through the system and run all the lamps. Really fascinating. And, and, and I'm just like, wow, my wife is smarter than I thought. You knew I was smart. Yeah. And it was just completely random fine, like I had no idea. George, do not even think about it. Found a it. nice Thai restaurant. Just, just not stepping on my foot he, like that. I think he needs to go. All he right. needs to go poo and he needs to go wee. So, wee! Smooth! <laughs> less, less, um, well, less ruminations on the um, bathroom problems and stuff. <laughs> More, isn't London interesting? So it was good, it was good, it was really good. Probably not going to put this in because we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. Let, let the, Thanks for watching. For watching. Watching, watching. Thanks for watching. Do that. What am I saying now? Something about. Am I just doing that part? Yeah. We got anything else going on? Well, I would like to say a bit more about facts and figures and stuff, but I don't have any capacity to. Oh, uh, which them. facts and figures? I don't have any. Okay, so what do you want to say about facts and figures you don't have? Like which? Well, like if I had some interesting, it'd be good to have it included in the video, but I don't have any. Uh, well, I've got some facts and figures. Like a meter is one thousand centimeters. Sorry, one hundred centimeters. What are we talking about? Relevant to the freaking video. Centimeters. Um, like about the canals and stuff. Oh well, we passed the um, man. Legacy from the legacy legacy. Uh, Little, 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 it sounds like an alarm, you know. Only if you said repeat it. Yeah, but little, 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 okay, that's just hard on your tongue. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, well, no, I wouldn't call it cold. I'm, I'm soaking wet because George needed a shower, which meant I got one. Wait, and why did George need a shower? Because someone let him roll around in the mud. Well, didn't let him roll around in the mud. You didn't stop him. He chose to roll around in the mud. So he's an independent being, right? <laughs> I, I do not have dominion over all of the plants and animals. I sometimes wish. You do have dominion over your, your pooch. My what? Pooch. Oh, pooch. <laughs> I, do, I don't. Even there, I don't have dominion. If I, if I exercise dominion over the things I, in theory, have dominion over. All right. All right, let's end it now. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, click. Sorry. Maybe. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. <laughs>